Hey God, I'm sorry for sinning. Again. I, um, I don't even feel worthy to talk to you right now. I'm so disappointed in myself. And I know you saw it too. <sighs> Fell into temptation and distraction once again. God, please forgive me. <sighs> this topic is a very sensitive one, and I want to make this as short and as straight to the point as possible, especially for those who may be in this boat right here, feeling like God isn't going to forgive them for what they've done. You know, whatever sinful actions that they're relapsing in, and that person might even be you watching this. God loves you. I really want to emphasize that he loves you. He's always waiting for us and willing to accept us back into his world. One thing we must understand is we're all human. We're not perfect. We give into temptation. We give into distractions. That's the reason why there's you know evil in the world. Some people choose to be evil. I want to emphasize that word choose because it's probably one of the most amazing gifts that God has given us. The ability to make our own choices. The ability to choose. And after we've sinned, we have the choice to call God back into our lives. To repent for our sins. Remember, God doesn't control us. He doesn't want to control us. And there's a reason why he doesn't just take away everybody's problems and all the evil in the world just like that. For one, it's obviously because we have the ability to make choices. But also, it's so that we can realize we're only human. And hey, we can't solve every problem ourselves. Everything we face in life, any obstacle, any setback, we look to God. That's what God wants us to realize when we face these problems. Like, hey, you're not alone. Hey, we committed a sinful action. That's part of life. You know, think of the stories when people who go to jail for doing some crazy things, they end up becoming a person of God. Now they're living their life through him. The crazy thing about those stories is God was waiting for them all along. No matter how long they've, they've been committing crimes, they've been doing drugs, they've been doing whatever. God was sitting back like, hey, I'll, I'll be waiting for you. That's what he essentially says to everybody. No matter if you're a believer or a non-believer. If you've been committing crime, if you've been doing sinful things all your life, or if you've been a great person all your life, you've been a person of God your entire life, God is always going to wait for those who are willing to be accepted. God will sit there all day long. Let me rephrase that. God can sit there all year long. All years long. No, that doesn't make sense, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. He will wait an eternity for you. The crazy thing is, he's doing it with open arms. He's just sitting there like this. You walk by him one day, you choose to do something. It's fine, I'll wait. <laughs> it, it's crazy, but that's really what he does. And the moment you open the door to your heart to receive him, you'd be like, hey, it's been a while. How you been? So where were we again? All right, so we were planned together for your financials. We were getting your mental right. We were getting your vision, your purpose together. He's talking to you like nothing ever happened. There is people in the Bible who have committed sins and God still made sure to say, hey, I forgive you and I still need you in this life. I still need you. 
Paul, like Paul in the Bible. I know Paul was sinning over and over. I don't know what it was. It says, the Apostle Paul murdered, harassed, and persecuted Christians in the early church. Apostle Paul was not perfect, but he became an extremely useful tool in God's hands, teaching, growing, inspiring, and encouraging the early church. He went on to write much of the New Testament and continues to be a blessing to believers even today. I don't got to emphasize it much more. We can see it through example, and you can even see it for yourself. God will forgive you as long as you repent and open your heart to him. It's as simple as that. God bless you.